to a Target 12 investigators exclusive. The town of Lincoln is moving forward with efforts to fire a convicted Lincoln police officer caught on camera kicking a woman in the head. Tonight, we've uncovered why the civil case to terminate Edward Krawitz might be delayed for years. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau is live in our newsroom now with what he's found. The statute of limitations on the original criminal charge in this case runs out next month, and while the town of Lincoln is expected to file its complaint soon, Target 12 has learned the case may stall right there. The kick to the head of Donald Levesque was caught on camera on May 31, 2009 at Twin River. Edward Krowitz was given a 10-year suspended sentence in March and ordered to undergo counseling. The town's attorney in the civil termination case tells Target 12 the complaint and notice against Krowitz will be filed within the next three weeks before the statute of limitations runs out on the 2009 crime. But still undefined right now is whether or not the police officer's Bill of Rights allows the termination process to move forward before the appeals process is completed in the criminal case. Didn't impose a jail Crowett's attorney John Harwood tells Target 12 he expects a response from the court within 10 days on his appeal of the criminal conviction. But attorneys on both sides tell us the appeal itself could take up to two years. The eventual hearing on the city's civil action is outlined in the police officer's Bill of Rights and involves a tribunal of law enforcement officers. Krowitz picks one officer, the Lincoln police chief picks a second, and the two sides pick the third so-called neutral officer. Whether or not the tribunal hearing starts later this year or after the appeal, Krowitz remains suspended without pay, but with medical benefits. We're told if he's reinstated by the tribunal, he could be awarded years of back pay. A civil suit is also expected from the victim in this case, but so far that lawsuit has not been filed. With the Target 12 investigators in the newsroom, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.